Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to another customizing video and uh, today I wanted to give you my opinion on the Mulatto Chrome which is, is a liquid chrome refill which if you customize I'm sure you pick these up at Hobby Lobby not the refills but you can get the markers there. Which I have somewhere. And, uh, huh. I don't see it. But, anyways, uh, you can do the bumpers and everything, and it comes out in a mirror finish. Uh, this stuff will go over absolutely anything. Uh, doesn't require a base or nothing. Uh, absolutely amazing product. Now, the all clad. It's a little different. I'm still working with it, but uh, I'll show you the differences and the things that I have found out about it. Now, uh, the all clad requires a black base, which uh, it's a gloss black base, and the gloss black base uh, is actually really shiny and a durable black. I don't, I don't have any. Anything that I painted, I don't think, with just the black yet. I covered it all up with the chrome. And then you have the all clad chrome, which uh, this stuff is amazing. I mean, it, it doesn't take a whole lot. You only put on one or two thin coats until you get it to where you want it. If you go too heavy with it, it... Uh, it like clouds up and looks more like a silver. So you have to go light. Light enough where the black will shine through. Because the black is where you get like the chrome effect from. And then you got the all clad black chrome. Now you can see these bottles are only like 8-9 bucks for that little bottle. And you can do a lot with that little bottle. These are like the same price, they're like nine, ten bucks, but you can do a lot with this. Uh, I was surprised how many cars I could do with one of these. I think it was around 50 or 60 cars. So, this is 30 mil and it's $30. But you don't need a base and you can do about 30 cars. This, you might be able to do a Let's see how much it weighs. One fluid ounce, so however many milliliters are in one fluid ounce. I would almost say you could do about the same amount of cars. Or maybe even double. You might be able to do 60 cars with that. So it might go a lot further. But we'll, we'll compare them. I mean, I can very obviously see what I used what on. Now, uh, I used it on these GTRs. And this is the Mulatto Chrome. Just one coat. And I've polished the bodies before. I've sanded the bodies before. But uh, I get the best effect. Like this one, I just take a stainless steel or a brass wire brush to it. Uh, one that looks like a toothbrush. Uh, the ones you buy real cheap. I just brush it over until it's nice and shiny. And then the Mulatto Chrome fills in all the little scratches. Just like if you would sand it smooth, it would fill in all the little scratches. So if there's like really bad imperfections, I'll sand them out. But very nice how it's just one step. Now, unfortunately, this will fingerprint. Uh, it will scuff. It will scratch. You can't touch it. This, you cannot touch. Like, that's why I'm holding it the way I am. Because it is very, very sensitive. And plus, you don't want to get fingerprints or oil from your hands on it before you paint it. So, I do this. 
I let it cure for a couple days, and then I can paint over it with any of the candy paints I have, uh, or any of the red lines. Now, I've polished castings before to like a mirror finish and used red line paint on them, and uh, I get pretty much the same effect as I do just from uh, going over one of these with a the wire brush and painting over it with the mulatto so it's just a an absolutely amazing product when you apply it with the airbrush uh can't thin it or nothing i apply it at like 20 psi with a 0.5 needle and uh you got to go on heavy you just do one coat one coat heavy as soon as you get the mirrored wet as soon as it looks mirrored and looks like this you quit you don't go on any heavier or will get cloudy and just look silver. So if you want the mirrored look, even when you brush this on, if you've ever brushed this on uh, or used it, you have to get it like a little ball of uh, liquid and you like drag that along and that's how you get the mirror effect. If you try and brush it or smooth it out or anything like that or just try and drag it, it, it just looks silver. It doesn't look mirrored so you have to get like a wet look for it to look the mirrored can't go too heavy but it goes on real easy i mean it, it you, you can see when you have like a perfect coat on it and uh i mean that's the video ain't doing it justice but you could see me in it uh then the all clad here, this is two coats of the all clad. So it's still like mirrored. I was trying to get it to look more like the mulatto. And it's not nearly as shiny as a mulatto. It's a little darker, but it's like a better mirrored effect. Like, it's super shiny. Like, I could see myself in it. Now, this stuff is extremely durable. It doesn't leave fingerprints. It doesn't scratch. You can buff the heck out of it. So, it, as soon as you spray it on, it's extremely durable. Now, what I found out, though, when I put my one candy color over it, and I went with a wet... Because, uh... Whenever you're painting, especially like a candy, you always want to do like a wet coat. Not so wet it's going to run, but wet enough where it's not going on dry. If it's going on dry, it won't give it the candy look. So you have to do like a wet look, wet coat on it, I like to call it. And uh, when I did that, it like soaks through the all clad down to the base and like kind of brought the base through the one i had to strip and redo the 55 gasser now all clad has a clear coat and uh it's spelled with a k instead of a c and it looks like milk and uh you don't shake it or nothing and they say you can rinse out your airbrush with hot water even though i use the all clad airbrush cleaner and uh if you put that on there and then do your candy paint over it, it does not, uh, it, it like seals it. So it will seal this coat so it won't let the black come through it. But I'm still experimenting and working with all that. Uh, one coat of this, the all clad, you really don't need the black chrome. If you buy them, you really only need to buy the one because this is one coat of it. And one coat of it, one light coat, gives you the mirrored effect. Looks amazing. It looks like chrome until you stick it next to the mulatto or something. This looks chrome. Like, it, you don't... It's hard to explain. It looks dark on video and black on video, but... These all look really chromed. So, uh, that's just one coat of the regular stuff. And this is a black 
chrome. And this is two coats or three coats of the black chrome. And uh, it looks identical. I'm pretty sure the black chrome is the same exact thing as a regular chrome, just thin down more. So you can see this separated, and there's hardly any pigment on the bottom at all. Like not even enough to cover up the bottom. And this one, I just used it a little bit ago, but I, uh, so I shook it up, but it doesn't separate like this one. It When it separates, it's a lot heavier on the bottom. So I, I'm pretty sure these are both identical. Just this one's thinned down a lot, lot more. I think if you would go over it four times or three times with this, it would look just like this. Because that's one coat of the all clad chrome. So I have these cars here. I have these six done with all clad chrome. And these seven done with all clad black chrome. And I clear coated them. So they're all clear coated and ready to go. And my next video, we'll be testing out some Tamiya candies. I have them all in these bigger ones. They have five of them. But they're all a clear red. So if you like seeing videos like this, hit the subscribe button. More to come. If you're just here for the Hot Wheels and uh, you don't care about the pain or the customs and uh, still hit the subscribe button, but you don't have to watch these videos. You can just wait until I post one with Hot Wheels. Because I love my Hot Wheels and I will be posting a bunch of Hot Wheel videos. You can see all my, that them are all too deep. So there's over 2,000 or 3,000 main lines there. I ran out of room for my cases. I have another shelf full of them too. But, and then I got it, uh, some AK clearers I want to test. And some Mr. Color clears that I want to test. And I want to test all the Mr. Uh, Color, Miss, uh, the Metallics, Mr. Metallics. And then I got a bunch of splash paints. This is actually a, like, they're all automotive paints. So, like, they're all cars you would have heard of. Like, Twister Orange. And it says right on it, apply over a light colored base, which is awesome. And then this one, Jägermeister Orange. Can't wait to try that out. But these are all perfectly matched to the real car colors. This is gr Grabber Lime Green. So I can't wait to test out all these paints. Only got one Gia. Guess these are hard to get in the US, but this is a clear red. So I thought we'd give it a try. Or no, a clear orange. This is a clear orange. Can't wait to try this one. AK. Metallic purple. A metallic purple color. Looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try this. I haven't tried most of these yet. A lot of them I just got. These paints are cool. I have tried some of these. These are true colors. And uh, they started out by doing all the railroad lines in America with accurate paint colors and now they've been doing cars they got metal candy apple 
And we have done some of these, so we did this one, Candy Apple Red. Turned out amazing, which I got an update for that I'll show on a future video. And then what's this one? High Gloss Grabber Green. So, just wanted to give you my opinion on uh, the all-clad chrome compared to the Mulatto Liquid Chrome. I prefer this because it's easy. It's one step. I don't have to clear coat it. I don't have to do anything. Just strip the casting, wire wheel it, paint it. Easy. And then you can do a, any candy color you want over top. These... They look amazing. And they're cheap. So you can buy both of these and this bottle and have them shipped to your house for less than what this would cost. So if you got two of the chromes, and just did one coat to get the black chrome and two coats to get that chrome, then, uh, hell, you probably could do 100 or 120 cars. For the same price as what you can do 30 or 50 cars with. So. Food for thought. This is more expensive. But way, way easier I think. So. That's all I got to show you today. Make sure and stay tuned. I think these cars are going to come out awesome. Painted with the testers candy. But I. I won't know until I do it, so that'd be the next video I post, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Have an awesome day.